Hello, I'm here with Clara Williams. I am Margot Shaw, Editor-in-Chief of Flower. Clara, on the other hand, is the brains and the visionary behind Clara Williams Company. One of the things that is so unique and exceptional about your line, your company, is this uh, style mixology. Would you walk us through a little bit about the genesis of that and then why that's so important to you and why you think it's, it's, it's made the line so successful? And I think... Uh, the versatility that um, I've landed on in this particular product line is something that I didn't anticipate coming up with. I didn't search for it, but when I found it, it made so much sense to me. So the idea of changing things in and out and dressing the part and having it be really easy and, and working with my, um, some would call it a fickle sense of fashion, um, I love to be, you know, sort of timely, but um, also classic at the same time. Um, it really just works. I just want to comment that I am wearing one of Clara's beautiful necklaces with one of her interesting uh, centerpieces, and this is how they attach. And then my mother of pearl earrings that to me look like snowflakes. So I'm sort of Christmassy, wintry right now in my in my color scheme, um, and then I have this great gunmetal gray chain link bracelet, which uh, you can, you know, for for me it's great because I can just take it off and put it back on. Can you see this? And it's magnetized. My favorite uh, thing to gussy up with is my Clara Williams pearls, but they're. Uh, they're joined in the center with a beautiful dove gray silk centerpiece like this one. And, and I get so many compliments. When you talk about uh, the versatility and the beauty and the uniqueness, I, I think one of the things that's so important about what you're doing is you're giving women the opportunity to really um, reflect and, and represent who they are. Right, they get to take part in the design process, which I think is really important. Um, and you never see yourself coming and going. You know, the pieces are identifiable, but they're really special to you or to the woman that's wearing them. I think that's so important and so special because now, you know, we can get anything from anywhere. And so uh, you do see yourself coming and going, except for with Clara Williams pieces that you've you've made your own. I've made my own, and um, I can't wait to take this necklace and use the make it long, and use the gold tassel that I have. So uh, you know, it's even with just within my own right. uh, repertoire, I can mix it up. Can you talk about a, a little bit about um, just the technology? and how that weaves into your business. The technology is simply the use of the magnet. Um, the magnet affords you know, independence and um, this great ability to change out the product. Um, you, know, you, can, you can see I've got on a couple pieces here. Oh, uh, I love that. This is- from your travels, right? I'm guessing. Yes, yeah, so this particular piece is a Kundan uh, work of art from India mm. that we have set with 18 karat gold and hand carved mother of pearl. Mm -hmm. And it is married with a, a very high tech piece of jewelry, which is this beautifully braided 18 karat gold necklace called the Aspen necklace. Mm -hmm. um, and that is a mix of incredibly fine 18 karat wires and the um, and the 18 karat yellow gold accent pieces. So, um, you know, you could take this and then just quickly change it out for something like this, which is one of our Tibetan treasures oh. and a totally different look, Yeah, um, which is really fun. But that's, that's technology, you know, working to our benefit to, um, to give us different looks at different moments. And I like the Aspen necklace by itself. I think it's just a cool, yeah. informal, almost industrial look. Does that make sense? Yeah. With all that wire. Yeah, and it's very today. 
you know, as we're living in this COVID environment of the casualization of America and the world. Um, and um, I think it, I think it marries very well with dressing up and dressing down. Yes, I have on my pajama bottoms, but you can't tell. <laughs> oh. um, so, but no, I think it's so important to be practical right now. And that leads me to ask you a little bit about um, how things have shifted, if at all, any pivots in the business practices since COVID. I think in a in a in a way it has forced all of us to evolve. Um, I also believe that it has given me um, a, an opportunity to be very creative, on um, to have the luxury of time to slow down and to to find other needs. Um, we were we were laughing that, I mean, who knew that the next piece of jewelry would be masks? Well. We had the talent, we had the time, we thought everybody would want a reversible mask. So we've got our own Claire Williams reversible mask. We've, we've just come out with a line of reversible uh, paper place mats. And this was born out of having lots of family time. Um, you know, my daughter came home from college, my husband was home from the office. Um, and I love real linens, but to cook three meals a day and to also have to iron the linens mm -mm. was a lot. So mm -hmm. this enabled us to have a beautiful table, but then also have the fun of, um, you know, a reversible concept, but also mixology. easy, it, easy. And so are those on the website? We have just put them on the website. Okay. Because yeah. I, I do like that whole nod to, I mean, we still want to have style. We still want to be surrounded by beauty, but we don't, I, I can't, I mean, who's got time to hang over an ironing board? It's a gift to sit down at a beautifully decorated table. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it makes everybody feel good to be, you know, well-dressed, with their jewelry and their accessories, but then also to have their table well-dressed. I agree. It's all part of beauty. So that leads me to want to ask you or talk to you a little bit about the heirloom nature of your pieces because they're, they're chic and they're fresh and, and uh, innovative, but there, there's a timelessness as well. Well, that, thank you. I don't know if that's intentional, but that's my read. Well, I think um, the heirloom nature is an interesting sort of subject because they, there's inherent value in um, passing these pieces on to the next generation or having the fun of trading out pieces. Mm -hmm. You know, a mother and daughter can say, well, mm -hmm. I really like that centerpiece, mm -hmm. or I really love those earrings and those drops. And mm -hmm. you can um, make things more traditional, you can make things more modern, um, more edgy. Um, and so from a versatility perspective, they really do translate um, to different generations um, and different senses of style. On another note, we also, uh, will work with you or the customer to take old pieces that are actual heirlooms from your great grandmother or someone, for example, pins, they're, they are not very uh, current, mm -hmm. but they could be beautiful centerpieces. So mm -hmm. we can modify the pins to um, say, for example, take an art deco pin and put it with a black leather necklace. Um, it looks very stylish. Um, it's a nice way to get something out of the jewelry box, to have it be worn, and then to carry your loved one with you. Yeah, and it's a conversation piece. I, I want to pick your brain just a little bit more. Is that okay? Of course. Do you have a favorite piece for you that mm -hmm. you, your go-to that you, you don't even think about it, you're going out, you want to put on something special that you love, that you feel like you... What do you grab? Uh, I have two pieces. One is 
Uh, this is actually brand new to the collection, um, but I designed this with the idea of really just being able to grab it and go. Mm -hmm. And this is a carved rock crystal. It's a teardrop cabochon. Um, so it's flat on the back and it has the hand cut mother of pearl on the back side, but it is because it's neutral, Mm -hmm. It is timeless. And, you know, whether you wear it with a, an 18 karat gold necklace or you put it with something that has a lot of pizzazz, like this turquoise piece, the mother of pearl behind the rock crystal catches the light and it is, it's beguiling. Um, so I, I think of this as a, as a really great neutral um, and just an easy go-to. Um, my other piece I have to dig out of my bag. Um, this is this is a piece that I wear a lot. Um, there's a little part of me that is superstitious, and I like to ward off evil spirits. This is an 18, or I'm sorry, a 22 karat Ganesh, and this is um, it's just a beautiful uh, work of art, old repoussé style. Mm -hmm. uh, technique from southern India so these are my go-to did you bring that design back from India I know you travel a lot yes do you take your little high-tech iPhone and take pictures of all these things and bring them back do you buy one and bring it back and have it copied how does that work uh, we actually have them produced in India oh. so they're authentic oh um, so so what I'll do in the design process is to produce things in-house um, and we also source from, you know, uh, native artisans for the particular area or the, the style. Um, this is a piece that I call a Tibetan treasure. Um, this is in the, um, the Kundan style um, and then you know, these are stones that we have specifically cut for ourselves, and then they're set in the bezels here in Chicago in our studio. And so it's we'll mixed, but everything is touched here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Everything is finished here. We look at all of the quality. I think the um, the mother of pearl back is. I haven't seen that. I mean, that may be somewhere in the world of jewelry, but I haven't seen it. And it just seems luminescent. It, it adds a, yeah. a dimension to the stones that you set are beguiling. Uh, that's a great word for that. And it also, you know, it's important because the pieces need to be finished beautifully front or back. Yeah. You know, it's, and what are those little baubles at the bottom, the fringe, what are those made of? Uh, these are emeralds and pearls and, and diamond slices. I love that. They're works of art. Your Thank pieces you. are Well, art. and they're also very practical. You know, if I, if I put this on, um, it's reversible. So you can wear it on the other side, which makes it a really wonderful piece to travel in. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I do love to travel. So yeah. um, to have that versatility and you can bring one centerpiece, but you really got two uh, makes a big difference. I, I agree. And then you just have your basic, what, whether it's turquoise or the uh, Aspen or whatever, that's your canvas sort of. And then you just add color and shape and weight and scale with an interest. That's right. what keeps it. Good for you. Good for us who get to have some. Um, we left, you know, we were trying to come up with the concept and the name. So this, the necklace is usually what we call or consider the foundation. And then this is the centerpiece. Mm -hmm. It's just like the centerpiece you would put on your table. It's where you want your eye to look. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really the focal point. And, you know, I, I will say this, Clara, it is so much richer to hear from you, to hear your heart about this design and um, your desires for women. And it's, um, it just gives it so much more depth and so much richness. Thank you for, for opening up to us and giving us your time and sharing your vision and your- oh, It's such uh, a pleasure. You're so nice to, to 
having this conversation. We'll see you another time, I hope. I hope so too. Okay. Thanks, Clara.